Hey, I didn't see a video online about how to assemble a Bessler 23 3XL variable contrast enlarger. That's a long, right? I could not find that and I wanted to actually do this video right over here in our studio in Cal State Los Angeles. And of course, wanted to be honest and real when you unpack the box and how you put it together. So here we go. You get in the box these items. So you get your little tools, which is the crank, as well as if you would like to use the baseboard. In my case here at the school, I don't really need the baseboard, so I'm not gonna necessarily use the T-nuts, but all your tools come into a bag. I haven't figured this one out yet. I'm still waiting on customer service. But I have a funny feeling it's gonna be usable somewhere, just don't know where, right? And then of course it comes with your instructions manual. I actually was looking at this and this was really technical language on how to put something together. So there's some language on here that you may not understand or you may not use and that's why you don't understand it. So don't feel like you're, I don't know how to follow instructions. This is definitely technical writing. So that's why I wanted to do the video and I noticed that it was nowhere on YouTube. It was nowhere for me to find as an immediate resource. And that's why today with my amazing student assistant, we're gonna open this up and do it because we ordered four of them. We've already assembled three and I feel like we're gonna have to do this together. So let's go through it. Let's do it. So this is my amazing student assistant. Come see, it's gonna come on the scene. We're actually doing exactly what we did in the back, right? All right. Now we do have some tools, some things that we really, I didn't realize that you need. Yeah. Let's just bring over, I call it the medical tray. So you will need a screwdriver. However, you'll need two different sizes of a screwdriver. So you'll need um, the larger screwdriver, which I'm, I don't, I'm not a carpenter, but I do know there are two different screwdriver, screwdriver heads, and you'll need two of those. Then you'll need a Phillips flat. All right, so you'll need that, as well as an amazing drill. So you need that as well when you're trying to drill into the screws onto your baseboard or the board you're using. Now in the case that we're in an institution, we're actually at a school institution, so we already have the boards, and I did the measurements and it matched. So I didn't need that baseboard that actually comes in the box. Let's talk about that when we get there, but you'll need a definite power tool. And if you have a hammer, that's great and all, but I had a mallet. So you can do either or, so that way you can actually tap, tap, and be very gentle with some of the screws, some of the actual adjustments, right? You'll yes. see like some of the adjustments, so that way you're not stripping any of the screws or any of the items that come with the box. Otherwise, you run into a long-term issue. Um, don't keep it real. So, we're gonna go into the box right now with how we did the other three. So, it comes like this. I know we ordered from b &H Photo and it was, there was one box that was double box. I'll take it, so it was not damaged, so it was in great condition. So, sometimes you may receive the box fully from Bessler or from that particular authorized dealer. And b &H Photo is one of those authorized dealers. So we got this. So we're gonna pull out the actual chest that's gonna be attached. So remember I talked about, we talked about to the side, that's okay. You know, we talked about like, um, if you wanna use the baseboard, you can. But we're not gonna do the baseboard because we already have boards here at our school. And that means that you'll have about eight screws on this end on the base, so that way you can attach it. So we're not gonna necessarily attach it, but we're, not, we're just gonna attach the handler to do the cranking. And then we're gonna attach the actual lighthouse 
carriage. Alright. So I'm gonna move this out. Oh actually let's pull this out. I'm um, just gonna say in the video uh, the baseboard that comes in. Yeah. So it comes in there, so this is the baseboard, but we're not gonna use the baseboard. We're just gonna actually assemble it. But it's pretty it's pretty user-friendly in regards of your choice. All right, so I'm gonna put it here, and then Kills, if you can, and we'll slide it off to the side here for the sake of the video. We don't wanna bore you through all the goodies, all right? So let's grab our carriage. So this is the lighthouse carriage. I'm going to put it in the front here just for now. And just what I did was I started with the crank. So I opened this up and I started working off of the manual and paid attention to the crank first. So it's okay to give it to you. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm gonna pull out, now the great thing about when you get this in the mail, you actually get a list, so that way you can verify that you received everything. So that's, that was pretty nice. So that's when I knew that I needed the long one. So that was the one inch. So I'm not using any of the eight screws to bolt it down. I'm actually looking for the smaller screw, look at that. The smaller screw to go into the crank. So that way it's attached to the actual foundation of So, here we go. We're gonna have, the, we're gonna slide this down just a little bit. I'm gonna hold on to this, put it in the middle, here, and then let's just slide it down. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then let's do what we did in the back, all right? So this is what Kelsey and I did. Um, we put the actual crank onto the back rod. So this is on the back side. So we're looking at the back side of the actual cast. And you'll have to put the crank on first, which is much easier to do first, all right? So get it, and then put it in. Oh, it works best if you jiggle it in. Do a little jiggle. <laughs> Do a little jiggle. All right, now we're gonna go over to the medical area here and use the smaller, just a Phillips screw. Right. And tighten that in. What we were doing in the back, but we we're also cleaning as you go. You can clean as you go, but it doesn't have to be that way, right? Um, but we clean as we go. And then I'll take that and put it back on the medical table. This is where you can actually do the crank and practice and make sure that it's actually functional. So go ahead and uh, give it a whirl. And try to hold it down. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. So we know it's nicely attached, right? All right. Now the thing I want to put into point is there's the lock here. So this is where you wanna make sure it's loose so that way you can test it or else if it's tight, you run the risk of stripping or damaging your hand. So make sure this is locked first when you are trying to uh, put the crank on, but loosen it up just a little bit, not a lot, because otherwise if you loosen it too much, you'll see that it all right, it will, and you need to make sure your hands are in the proper space. So uh, now we're gonna turn it back down. That's okay. Did we tighten it? Okay, let's tighten it. Yeah. So this is the things, right? So uh, I do suggest two people, but if you are, I would say one of the original OGs, then if you can do it by yourself, it could take one. But I highly recommend two people doing it. All right, so now that we've taken care of the back part, we add the crank, we're gonna flip it over so we can add the carriage. And this is the lighthouse carriage. So let's switch it over. You know, the great thing about doing these type of videos is that you have to pay attention to if the camera's even rolling. So this is gonna be our part two. Uh, first part, you'll see what we came out with the actual Bessler 23 3 
C X L model. So this is actually a really nice variable contrast black and white and larger where we have the filters in the actual lamp house unit. So they call it the carriage. So I'm going to do it again. So I have another amazing student worker here to assist. So we're going to get into it. All right. Now we're going to actually get to removing the rod that's in the front. Uh, we were definitely where my brain was going. I was going to remove the rod in the back, but it's actually the front. So what we turn this around to sell. And then let's go ahead and use uh, we'll loosen this up just or we'll crank it in actually so that we can want a little bit more flat for us. Alright, so now we're gonna use a flathead just to pop off these little washers on the side. So go ahead and pop off just one. I usually just do one side, so um, catch it though so it doesn't fly. Yeah, so when you pop it on, just kind of catch it. So there you go. And then we're going to slightly take that rod out. And then let's bring over the lamp house. Right. So what we're going to end up doing is matching up these holes here with the lamp house there. Let's slide it in. Now it's always good to have two people. Um, so that way one can level it and the other can push the rod through. Now some of them can be challenging and a little tricky, so So once you've inserted the rod, this is where you put back on the washer and the clasp. And you can use a small little hammer. We just have a mallet. So we're just gonna happy to put that back on there for you. So. So you'll get it in the box and it's reverse, right? And that's what this is for is to actually have a line it and create that space. So you'll want to flip it. So that way, when you lift up the enlarger, it will go 90 degrees. Otherwise it'll flop back and forth and you're wondering what's going on. Uh, and it won't be at 90 degrees. So instead of if you can come over, let's make sure this plate is even. Pretty much it would actually attaching the lamp house to the actual lever. Um, the next part would be putting in the lamp within the actual light house. Now, uh, we don't necessarily have too much time for that. However, I want to ask yourself if you can turn it just a little bit towards the camera. Yeah, do it a little bit that way. Yeah, thanks so much. It's the back screw here that you would have to just on. You can just do a little twist to it. And your whole front part of the lamp house will slide up and you'll have access to where the lamp can be inserted. So that's where it's located. Um, but like I said, for the sake of time, uh, we don't really have time in this video. However, if we come back, we could. Uh, but there is a tutorial of how to put the lamp in. But there wasn't much tutorials about how to attach the lamp house to the base. So, hey, we might come back, we might not. I don't know, just tell what you feel. You want to come back? You do another video? Come back. We'll come back.
Well, thanks for tuning in.